What's up you guys? Marty Schwartz here from Marty Music with another great countdown. As always, a huge thanks for the continued support. We couldn't do it without you. Let's say you're a budding blues rocker and you're having trouble jamming along with your favorite Stevie Ray Vaughan record. You think, hey, I've never spent decades living beyond my means. I'll never be an accomplished blues player. And even though that may partly be true, your issue may be more musically technical than that. Which is why this week, we're counting down the top scales every blues player should know. Let's get to it. The minor pentatonic. The minor pentatonic is the bread and butter of any good blues lick. It's a great place to start when learning blues guitar because it's pretty easy to latch onto. Maybe because the open strings on a guitar in standard tuning make up an E minor pentatonic scale. Many genres outside of blues, including bluegrass, country, and rock, rely heavily on this scale. The major pentatonic. Don't worry, I'm not gonna spend this whole video going over boring pentatonic scales, but they're vitally important to any solid blues lick. As one might imagine, the major pentatonic scale is based on the major scale. Aren't you glad I'm here to tell you that? Despite the subject matter though, blues players quite often use major pentatonic and even mix the major and minor pentatonic together to create some of the most iconic licks. Blues Mixolydian scale. This scale is a hybrid scale, meaning it combines two different scales that share the same root. It's eerily similar to the standard minor pentatonic, but more on that in a minute. The main difference is every time the minor third of the scale is played, you hammer up to the major third immediately afterwards. This small change is what puts the scale in the mixolydian category. This scale allows you to carve out licks that sound amazing over minor major blues jams that rely heavily on dominant seven chords. Altered dominant. By itself, the scale may sound a little weird, but combined with one of our trusty pentatonics, it can really give your solos a unique sound. This scale is an excellent way to combine jazz elements into your blues playing. And since these two genres share a common ancestor, it's easy to see how they would play well together. Combining notes that are used in an altered dominant scale with a standard blues scale can greatly expand your palette and add a wow factor to your tasty blues licks. What scales do you find most useful? Let us know in the comments below. And while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching, you guys. See you again soon.